welcome back to the Target Man, where we are continuing our network save game against Rob, the Crystal Palace manager. The disgrace of a manager. Um, so we come back after that beautiful, sweet nectar of a 3-1 victory over Rob. And I thought, look at this run we've got. We're going to build some momentum. Did we fuck? Uh, we lost 4-3 to Southampton. So that was fun. And then we went to Norwich. We scored in the first minute. Thought this is going to go well. Oh, no, we fell apart again. But then we went to Watford. No, we didn't go to Watford. Watford came to us and we smashed them apart. Mitrovic getting three goals. That was great. And we also had Mitrovic scoring two against Southampton. So at least Mitrovic is scoring goals. Then we played Brentford and it was a 2-2 draw. Mitrovic again scoring. But look at this. 90th minute and 91st minute just as I thought I had the form coming now we've beaten two teams in a row this happens I was fuming absolutely furious but yeah 30 minutes in gross with the free kick heads home by the captain Lewis Dunk then at 73rd minute we get the second goal we're cruising we've seen out the game Mitrovic the target man heading home and then obviously 90th minute in off the crossbar, 91st minute, we've blocked the first cross, but FIFA rules say that if you make a tackle with FIFA, the ball goes back to them, and they scored, so that was infuriating, but it's still a point when we're fighting relegation, but not great. Then we went to Everton, where we did play really well, um, obviously Calvert-Lewin scored in the first minute, because Calvert-Lewin's incredible, and um, we could only pull one goal back, but we were battering them at the end of that game. So that was really annoying. It was a passive gross free kick, but the amount of balls we put in for Mitrovic, we put Kiefer Moore on at the end to have three strikers at top, just could not get another goal. And now we play Tottenham, who are 18th. They are the team we are fighting to avoid relegation with. This is, and they have a game in hand, so we really need to try and beat them here. And I know their form has been terrible. But they still are Tottenham. They still got Son. They still got Kane. Yeah, these players are way. Some of these players are way better than mine. And um, I just feel like we're going to lose again and drop into relegation. And considering we need to avoid a relegation fight, this C plus is going to start turning back down again, and the media is going to start talking about me getting sacked because Rob is still. Three points ahead of me, but he's got a game in hand, but it's only three points. That's how tight this table is at the moment. And it's annoying that my job could be on the line. And there's not much I can do about it. But, yeah, we've got some good players that are playing. We've got good form. Mitrovic is scoring goals. Mope is scoring goals. It's just frustrating at the moment. Kukureda's even started to pull some assists and bring up that rating. But we are now going to get ready for the Tottenham game. And for the Tottenham game, we have the Defoe-Crouch combo back up top. Trossard has not been playing too well recently. I'm going to give him another go as a shadow striker. I might put Kiefer Moore in as a three, because when I did that against Everton, we started to play well. I've dropped Pascal Gross to right back, as Al Sati played there last time. But Gross is just as good defensively. Uh, he's got some great crossing. And I want him there for his set pieces. And Moda comes back in to the central role where he played well when he got his call up. The rest of the team looks pretty similar. Dunk, Kukureda, Basuma, Kukureda, Webster, Dunk. I'm saying their names many times. So let's go into the game and hopefully pick up some points. Defar, will he continue? We don't know. Rob, will you continue? I am very bored of waiting. Thank you, Rob. Right, so we are just going to pump those fists. We're going to try and build up the lads. Hopefully Tottenham's form is going to be enough for us to play well. We are playing using a cloud save right now. Rob is using a laptop to run the game instead of his usual PC. So hopefully we don't have any technical issues as we move out to play Tottenham. We have a highlight, please. Can we have... A highlight, please. Here we go. The first highlight, and it is a corner for the Brighton boys. It's not a corner. It's a free kick. Bright, he hits into Dunk. What has happened there? Mitrovic scores. The referee's coming over, though. 
Is it a foul? What did happen there? We're zooming in. It's been disallowed to offside. What happened here? Gross with the free kick in. Dunk heads it. Oh, Mitrovic is blocking the keeper. Oh, come off it. Ah, oh, I was getting ready to celebrate there. What on earth was that? Shaky start though. Hopefully we've got Tottenham feeling nervy and we can maybe get them. And look at that, we've intercepted. It's normally us that are giving away the ball like that. So that gives me positive signs. Ball through the middle. Mope switches the sides to Gross. He crosses it in and no one's there. It was so close. Oh, that's frustrating. What's going to happen now? Tottenham are moving up. Oh, McAllister's tackled them. What is going on with Tottenham? It's whipped in. Mitrovic. Oh, no. The target man who definitely isn't playing as target man anymore almost gets on the score sheet. Pretty pleased with that we've been bringing the game to Tottenham. <gasps> Dunk with the header. The keeper spills it and it falls to McAllister who tucks it home. Get in there. Oh, I was really thinking that we were going to be the game that Tottenham wins 4-0 with Son and Harry Kane, which still might happen, but we can't complain. 1-0 up at home against Tottenham. If you told me this at the start of the season, no matter where Tottenham were, I would be over the moon. But here they come down an instant highlight, and we get the ball back again. They are so sloppy at the moment. I wonder why they're doing so poorly in this save. Is this? I wish I had some viewers to ask if this is a common thing in other saves that Tottenham are doing so bad but yeah I'm really surprised I, I, you know even if they were mid-table I think they weren't doing well but I know things are a bit dodgy at Tottenham as Trossard is played through <gasps> how has he missed that not even on target just outside the post so yeah strange what's happened to Tottenham in this save anyway the ball comes in as they play it through to Harry Kane who hits it like a hurricane. Son, way wide. Mupperella with a throw on this left side for build up another bright attack. Oh, look at that. We're moving forward. The ball is just too far ahead of Trossard. We do have the pass into space thing on, and I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of it because I see us giving away the ball too often. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to take it off for now. Afraid to do that mid-highlight as anything could happen. Tottenham passing it around the back again, and the amount of times they've been sloppy and slipped up the ball. It's brave. Will they manage to break through our pressing forwards here? Ooh, I thought he was going to get nabbed there, as they do find a ball to Son, who spins around like the magician that he is, into Harry Kane. It's into the bottom left corner, and there we go. Doesn't matter how bad a form they're in, they've just got some top, top players. I just don't know how to deal with. When I've got Pascal Gross having to fill in at right back, Lamptey is back on the bench, but he isn't fully fit. They recommend maximum 75 minutes. So I try to avoid playing him at all in that situation, but we might need his pace to deal with Son Hyung Min. But still been positive. We might be able to still get something out of the game. Half time, 1 1 with Tottenham. Really, I sh I'm not too disappointed. Um, we're going to tell them that we're the better team. I'm going to pump those fists and get them worked up. Hopefully go out there and get a second goal. Ball intercepted again. They, they are giving away far too much. Playing it around. Trossard is in. He tucks it home this time. Oh, no. Not a second disallowed goal. Surely not. I thought it was just onside. Goal awarded. Get in. That is a great way to come out from the into the second half. Grab that goal straight away. Let us be able to play with a bit more confidence. And we have a highlight here. It's us moving forward. Cucurella on that left. Looking good. Can't believe it. Oh, Pascal, Pascal Gross won the header. I wasn't expecting that. And now he's in a point where he can put in a good cross. Does he? No, he finds Mitrovic. Is the man really we want in the box. Oh, look at this play. Woo, beautiful. That's the sort of football that we've been waiting for. It's the sort of thing we could only do against terrible teams like Palace. Oh, it's another set piece. It is cleared by Mitrovic. Oh, Sanchez holds on from Son's cheeky effort. Tottenham are getting a few more chances now, which is worrying. I don't know if we want to start changing things up. But it's also scary to change things up when you're winning. Bubs, but 
Oh, I've got a game in two days' time. Be it against United, so it's probably not going to go too well. But Pascal Gross is on a 7.7. I was going to take him off, but maybe it would be criminal to do so. I'm going to give Danny Welbeck his moment. Hopefully he can do something. I was going to bring on Lamptey to get a few minutes, but maybe I shouldn't. Basuma on a booking. I'm going to risk it and play Franjic. He's nowhere near as good, but... I don't want to miss Basuma for the Man United game that we're probably going to lose anyway. Yeah, but he, oh, Kukurella, we're in with the slide challenge. We've got a few players in our defence booked, so I don't need them adding to that. Tottenham looking to get the equaliser like they did in the first half, playing it around the defence. Can we get another sloppy pass? They've got lots of space on the wings with our diamond formation, so we've got to expect that. But when Eric Dyer's got the ball up there, maybe I haven't got too much to worry about. But Ben Davis set up Harry Kane, and it's now set up Sessignon, who's just scored a fucking weldy. Fuck's sake. We're going to go positive. We're going to encourage the lads. What can we do? I'm going to bring Trossard forward and bring on Kiefer Moore. Because I'm going for the win. I feel like this game is here to be won. Get back out there. But the highlight is straight to us. Oh no. We're not not like a not a Brentford. Not a Southampton. Not again. Thank God. Time is running out. If that Mitrovic goal wasn't offside, we'd still be winning. I've gone positive, let's go attacking, I've made us more direct, I've stuck Kiefer Moore up front. Can we get another opportunity? Here's a highlight, five minutes added on. Kiefer Moore doesn't even challenge for the header, but it falls down to us. Can we build up an attack now? Webster, Dunk, McAllister. Oh, over to Mitrovic, it's down to Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore! Oh my God! <laughs> Kiefer Moore is the hero of the day. That's, oh, it's so early though. I'm worried. But Kiefer Moore is our hero. We need to watch this back. Mitrovic plays in. Mitrovic, who I bought to be the target man, plays that target man role to play in the guy playing as the target man. Kiefer Moore, what a time to grab your first league goal for the club. That's going to get the fans on your side. Oh, I'm over the moon now. Let's pause it. Let's, let's pull these players back now. Full back, defend. Pull back, defend. Corella, no, you're going to... Mm. Callister can go, deep line playmaker. Um, we're still well back on the wing as an inside forward and support. That's about as defensive as I can go. We've pulled the wing backs back. We've put people in defence, we've dropped the roles of these guys, we've put Welbeck on the side now to maybe give a bit more cover and defence. Uh, let's put time wasting on. Slow down the tempo. Be slow with the ball. We've got to see this game out now. Not what we did against Brentford. Not what happened against Southampton. Oh, it's a highlight straight away. Of course it is. Ben Davies again puts that ball through. Oh! <gasps> We need to do something about Ben Davies. Okay, I told the lads to get on Ben Davies and do not let him put any more, more balls through. He has been vital. He's set up both of their goals and again almost put Harry Kane through. So hopefully if we're closing them out of the game. We can see this time out. <gasps> Three seconds left. Just blow the whistle, ref. I don't even if we score another goal, I'd rather you just no, 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 no. <gasps> Oh my god, why were all of our players forward there? No, and here he is, Ben Davies. I told you to stick to him like glue. Get the ball, Kukurena. It's gone to Doherty. <gasps> He's offside, ref. He's offside. He's offside. That surely is the game. A thrilling game of football at the bottom of the table. And we've done it, and that means if they win their game in hand, they are still behind us, and we can stay clear of that relegation zone. Oh, what a result. Outstretched arms. Very well done, lads. What a cracker. The performance of the uh, of the game was better than when Rob was on his PC. Kiefer Moore, my lord. Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore, my lord. So that puts us up into 15th. We're three points behind Palace, who still have that game in hand. 
Rob had a 3 0 win. Benteke scoring again. Wow. But look at this. There's three points in it. This is such a tight table. Hopefully, we can maintain things. Were the board happy with that result? Match performance. Look at that. A. Plus. Okay. Hopefully, this is good things to come. Oh, we went from a C plus to a C, though. Tony Broom is still on the edge. Let's see how Rob's doing. Right, we are back with the Ginger Giant. How did it go for you then, Rob? To be honest, it was... shots-wise, you would think that Burnley really gave us a game because they had eight on target, but I didn't really feel in danger at all. We scored three goals. We've got Elise on the, on the sheet. Benteke scored. Tabata got his first goal. Um, Zaha too. Um, had a nice XG. Burnley being the uh, rugby team that they are, got several yard <laughs> odds, as, as you expect. You know, we play proper football. Um, <laughs> we play proper football. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I, I, I did notice when I was. When I was watching, you know, the the, the Tottenham Brighton match seemed to be quite a bit of a end to end game. It was, we were outplaying Tottenham. They just kept playing. That Ben Davies kept playing good balls in to Harry Kane and Sessignon. But when it went to two two, I brought on the man Kiefer Moore, stuck him up top, and who grabs the winner? <laughs> it's Kiefer Moore. I know, yeah, I saw Kiefer Moore. Oh, what a hero! And uh, Mitrovic set him up, so the two target men combined. Oh, I could not have been happier. And I, I went into the opposition settings. I told my players to just destroy Ben Davies. Do not let him get another assist. And uh, as soon as I did that, we saw out the game. So, yeah, I was over the moon for that. Can we, can we just have a, a talk about what's going on with Spurs? Like, what the fuck's I, going on? I had on? a little talk about it in my video, yeah, because I... Like it, I, I know things aren't great at Tottenham right now, but I would expect them to be at worse. You know, thirteenth, fourteenth. I, I just going can't, on? can't figure it out. I mean, you beat I mean, them as well. Probably being five 0 I did. <laughs> that makes me feel a bit worse about my great end to end game. But <laughs> fucking Doherty uh, had a five point nine for them. I'm just looking at the thing now. Fuck it out. Oh. Yeah, he, he didn't play too well, but Ben Davies kept putting through balls in. Oh, but I can't, I'm so happy to win that game, because even if they win their game in hand now, they're still behind. So that is vital for I me. Know, I've seen you, you. You're rising up the table a bit now. Rising up, back you on the street. Put you back down. <laughs> well, you had your chance. It didn't go too well. So... Well, technically, you still you still potentially six points behind me because I have a game in hand. Yeah, but who's so, your game in hand against? Well, this is the thing. How the fuck would I know? Uh, that's a good point. Hopefully, you've got a big team coming up. You've got all oh, the I've, got, I've, up. Got, I've got Villa next. Um, oh, then you've got Leicester, Chelsea, Leeds. Leeds, who are just kings of this save at the moment. Liverpool, Arsenal, Man You've got a tricky patch coming up. Do you know what? This te We might swap sides in the table. I see no, it coming. I'm confident after the Liverpool and Liverpool game, uh, I, f I feel like we could, we could do that again at the end of the month. <laughs> we could do that again. Ch to me, yeah. Ch Chelsea uh, are on, or get in the position oh. uh, above me. Yeah, Chelsea so. are only twelve. Wow, it's been a it's a weird. So I played I Man U then Chelsea on. next. It is weird because I swear in the saves I've seen other people doing, it hasn't been this weird with Chelsea and uh, Tottenham. And Leeds being the best team in the world, apparently. So it, it's a definitely an interesting game, save. And Wolves yeah. are still still between us with their new JJBM manager. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to watch the journey of JJBM. It'd be funny if he moves on from Wolves and he actually starts up this career. <laughs> we'll have to do oh, our own wow. save and we just report on the life of JJBM. <laughs> I could see that being a success, to be fair. <laughs> so, so, so when are we going to come back then? Uh, yeah, let's have a look. So we just had our Boxing Day special. Um, we'll get through this, maybe at the end of January, in case either us could make some transfers. So maybe well, the I, I, I've, got, I've got the I've got 30th. Got 
Well, I've got to get him on the 29th, so we, we we could do another commentary special. Yeah, commentary special and transfers. That sounds like a plan. Alright then. All See right. you next time, guys. See you next time.